No, there's not going to be some enormous and unnecessary trailer analysis here. But something very curious did happen today. I just had to share. We talk about all the trailers as they release. And there might be an interesting side story to this. So today, some people found over on Reddit a new advertisement for Guild Wars 2. Note then that this isn't really a trailer in the sense it's being directed at us, the veteran players, in order to get us enthusiastic about something. In fact, as the usual community communication channels are concerned, the studio has been very quiet about this. It's the complete opposite delivery to, say, the teaser they tweeted out for episode 6 just a couple of days ago. If you sleuth your way to the unlisted YouTube page for the video, you'll see it even has a typo in the description. And that says it all, really. They really weren't angling for people to look specifically at it. So how about let's do just that. Mostly, it seems to be an ad ArenaNet have made to advertise on platforms like Facebook and hopefully get more people into the game. Casual players, people totally on the outside, and definitely not the standard fare of already obsessed nerd like me and also you guys watching who already know about Guild Wars. This advertisement is definitely looking broader than that. And, well, that's good. I think anyone can agree we want the game to grow and more people to join, so it's nice to see that the devs are spending money on marketing. It goes nicely hand in hand with their new Return to Guild Wars 2 initiative that's been going on in the form of blog posts and extra push to get new people over the past three weeks. But I do believe there's something more going on too. First, let's watch it. And yes, one of the main points, it is for the first time in a long time, fully CGI. Something a lot of us fans have been crying out for. Alright, I know it's short and pretty insignificant looking unless you're a super nerd, but there are a few things to get through. First, yeah, CGI, we have been asking for that. I think the last time we saw an out of game rendered cutscene for advertisement purposes was before Heart of Thorns, where they had this trailer you're currently watching in the background that was kind of a painterly CGI mix showing a depiction of a fight against uh, Morgamoth and you had the Wyverns in the background. I believe in the end, didn't the devs reuse that as an actual cutscene in-game as the Heart of Thorns expansion is starting? So it really feels like they got banged for their buck with that, and I like the way Heart of Thorns opened because of that. Well here, funnily enough, their next CGI trailer video adverts, which I'm sure they're outsourcing by the way, also features uh, those Mordrum Jungle Wyverns. I'm pretty sure that's just a coincidence, but it is curious to me they picked a Wyvern like that, even though that's somewhat fairly out of date now, I guess. Obviously, we're well into the Path of Fire days, and what Path of Fire influence do we see in this video? Perhaps the fact that the main protagonist of this footage, the commander, if you will, is a black woman, and for a lot of the promotional material since Path of Fire came out, they have been showing black actors more than anything else in the footage. You know, she reminds me an awful lot of Zephira. I think they have the same hair, the same kind of colours on their armour and whatnot, but I don't think it's specifically meant to be her. And more broadly, to the point, this entire trailer really is clearly not depicting any specific moment in the story. It's just a generic representation of the feel of what Guild Wars is meant to be all about. It reminds me a lot of the original Prophecies trailer in that way, that the stuff depicted is generic representations of story that doesn't actually happen. Obviously, the faction CGI trailer from Guild Wars 1 was the complete opposite and really much loved for that, but very often ArenaNet have done stuff like this. There's also the really rarely seen old Korean adverts for Guild Wars 1 featuring the white mantle looking characters, but not actually depicting a serious thing in lore. This is just some NPCs of the five playable races we know gathering in a field, facing off against something that looks cool. They happen to have picked a nice generic Wyvern, probably because the image of a draconic Wyvern is something that will resonate with anyone, no matter how casual of a fantasy fan they are. If they did something more specific, like an Oak Heart, 
Yeah, I'd love to see an oak heart in CGI as a Guild Wars nerd, but people browsing YouTube late at night that are thrown this adverts won't necessarily have that reaction. Better to just throw a dragon in there, which might be why, for what it's worth, Guild Wars 2 is all about fighting dragons in the first place. It's a really easily marketable concept. Don't make the enemy specifically undeady, such to tie it to Zaitan and feel out of date. Don't make it specifically planty and tie it to Morjamoth. Don't make it specifically branded and tie it to current stories. This trailer will last and generally represent Guild Wars 2 for all ages, because that's what they picked. But more to this point that this is supposed to represent Guild Wars in general, well, it is strange, because let's talk about the elephant in the room. The art style is super funky, isn't it? This is really cartoony, and really seeming to be pandering to a different demo, and I get that. You probably do want to attract the children, frankly. This is super cartoony and juvenile focused, it seems, uh, to start playing the game and to get invested in it and start enjoying it and become fans of it when they're quite young. So I understand why it has that look and feel, but it feels kind of icky to me to see Guild Wars represented in this way. Just how obscenely cutesy and gross looking you can make the Asura if you really work on it. And look at how cartoonish and ridiculous the Norn proportions are back there. It's kind of a fun else world strange mirror universe where arena net went with a totally different aesthetic for the game the other thing that particularly sickens me i must say as a guild wars one fan is how much they have accentuated the glowy shiny weapons in everyone's hands oh dear so i know it's a bit of guild wars 2's reputation now that everything's overly shiny and we have ludicrously big flashy weapons guild wars 2 definitely went the trend of nearly all mmo and didn't carve out a unique special identity for itself in this regard. But for Guild Wars 1, it did. We did have really lo-fi, super realistic, boring, shall we say, looking weapons, and it was something the community was proud of. And it's something that ArenaNet assured us in the early days of Guild Wars 2 would never happen to the franchise. It would never get too shiny. And now one of the defining points of the aesthetic of this trailer to advertise the game and get more people in is blatantly showing off, implicitly, hey, look at the shiny you can collect. Look at how shiny these things are. They're all the colours of the rainbow. Come get some shiny weapons. Guild Wars 2. Ah, <sighs> pretty sad, but maybe not too far from the reality. As to the other stuff, the general aesthetic being so at odds with the real game, you might argue that's a bad idea, that people will somehow be duped once they actually get in and find that the art style is different, but ultimately, I think all CGI cutscenes are making that concession. All of them are presenting an idealized version of the product they're advertising that the real experience in no way lives up to. Look at the way World of Warcraft does stuff. They have beautiful, incredible CGI trailers depicting important story stuff. That doesn't look like World of Warcraft, but those CGI trailers are enjoyed on their own level, in their own way. And I think that, you know, even if this might not be totally targeted at me, I understand why ArenaNet would have done things that way. On the positive side, it sounds exactly like Guild Wars. They're pulling in-game music and in-game sound effects. In fact, also music and sound effects I think we find in other assortments of trailers over the years. So that's at least recognisable. Now, I might be tempted to end the video here and say that's all that's really going on. But if we just lean to the left for a second and put on our tinfoil hats, we might realise a little more as to why this exists and why it's releasing now. This dawned on me, prompted by a comment over on the original Reddit thread. As I scrolled down past these messages, how it looks like the latest mobile app this person's never going to download, you'll see this message from Oh My God Ruffle Gamer. They propose that maybe this is a CGI trailer not originally made for Guild Wars 2, but instead for a different project altogether. Let's once again pay close attention to the timing right now. With the recent studio turbulence and let goes, there was a suggestion in there that NCSoft were taking control once again of more publishing and marketing duties for the franchise. That alone might account for this trailer's appearance, being something NCSoft would push for knowing the numbers and reach it might have for new audiences while ArenaNet would clash against it for being so stylistically different while they were in control of this aspect of publishing. But to go in another direction, just last month, 
the studio laid off a bunch of employees who were working on one, if not several, unknown projects in the background. We also know that the developers had been hiring a lot for mobile products over the past several years. Lastly, we know that with those products cancelled, the developers are looking to focus at least a bit more on their main currently released game, Guild Wars 2. That's why the Returning to Guild Wars 2 initiative is going on, and that's why they're looking to have trailers advertising that this is a free-to-play game you can get into. So, the idea is, ArenaNet was working on a secondary game, a mobile game, based in Tyria. But last month it was cancelled, scrapped, and the work left for nothing. And now that it is no more, they decided to repurpose some promotional material they had cooking, namely this advertisement that is blatantly outsourced and presumably they spent reasonable money on to instead get more people into the main game, Guild Wars 2, and prop up its population while they work on whatever else is now going on. I mean, take a second to look at the content of the trader itself right from start to end and where it specifically says it's a Guild Wars 2 trailer. Only at the very end, with the informational end slate, does it finally talk about Guild Wars 2. And roughly chopping that in, instead of having an ending talking about a mobile game, would be the easiest thing in the world. If all of that's true, then it would mean what we're watching here is not actually a Guild Wars 2 trailer, but it's a glimpse into an unknown, secret, now shelved, Guild Wars mobile product instead. Now I know that sounds crazy, but it does explain why this looks like a mobile game ad. It might explain why there's so much emphasis on the shiny weapons everyone's wielding, because whatever this mobile game was going to be, had some kind of deeper or prominent mechanic involving the stuff we have equipped. I think best guess still for me is that this would have been some sort of Tyrion card game, a concept I do not think would have gone down well and they were likely very smart to shelve. But the emphasis on loot makes me think, hey, maybe it'd be something else. And then other things start catching my eye. Yeah, we're still in a generic field fighting against a generic wyvern, but look, there's the five Guild Wars 2 races. We're at a point in the timeline somewhere around where the MMO is, such that the Sylvaria are a prominent race, the Norn are a prominent race, the Char and the Asura and the humans, but none of the others are getting a look in. That makes me think that any mobile product would have been tightly linked to the current MMO, maybe because there would have been features that allow the two platforms to interact with one another, say rewards in the mobile game giving you rewards in regular Tyria, and so it makes sense to have where both games are set be around the exact same time period. Imagine if it wasn't the regular five races we're looking at in this trailer. What if the Hyluk were there, or the Lagos, or humans were mysteriously missing because now they've well and truly gone off the deep end of extinction? Those are all creative decisions they could have made, but didn't. And of course, if that were true, it would be pretty blatantly obvious that this is not originally a Guild Wars 2 trailer, but instead for something else, and they might not have ever repurposed it in the first place. The closer I look, the more Heart of Thorns seems to be about where it's centred. Yeah, we have the Heart of Thornsy looking Wyvern, but back there you'll notice a pretty blatantly geared Revenant too. So we'd be after that point in the timeline, surely? Wow, I now wonder if this isn't anything to do with a mobile game, but just something they've had in the cupboard since Heart of Thorns promotional days, and they didn't like back then, but now are desperate enough to throw it online. Also, if you're buying this, Think about the state of development this mobile product might have been at. They were so far in that they'd already paid someone to make a trailer for it. Doesn't that mean it was pretty close to being done? Or they were near their deadlines at least for when it was supposed to be done? Could it be that if things went according to original plan, we would have seen the announcement already? It seems if they did get cold feet, it was really late. In a weird way, I'd have a kind of perverse, strange respect for their ability to drop something so far down the line. Fallacy of sunk costs be damned. So, there's not much more to it, but that's the theory, and that's the new Guild Wars 2 advert. Even if you don't believe all this tin foil hat stuff, hopefully you got some value out of the video having seen the advert where you otherwise might not have. I do have to say, if this really was for a mobile game, I do think the devs dodged a massive bullet. 
I can only imagine how disappointed and disheartened I would have felt if I'd sat eagerly awaiting some new arena net announcement and this trailer had been thrown at me with this art style and this art aesthetic to then reveal on an end screen at the end that it was Guild Wars 2 Mobile. Oh, I would have tried it, I would have played it, and I would have given you guys my review, but it's definitely not something I think I'm looking for. Let me know what you think, and feel free in the comments to talk about how ludicrous the entire concept of this video is, and I'll see you for another one very shortly.